Stay tuned for your gun detectives. Welcome to a special episode of Air Gun Detectives. I'm your host, JC, and today we're gonna to take the mystery out of filling up your scuba tanks or your carbon fiber tanks. I've had a lot of inquiries. People wanna know, hey, how do you fill your carbon fiber tanks? What do you use? More so, what do you use? The process is pretty simple. Um, but before we get into that, do me a favor if you hadn't already. Hit that subscribe button down in the corner. It doesn't cost you anything. It's absolutely free, but it really helps support the channel. Also, check out my website www.airgundetectives.com. On that site, got various t-shirts. I've got hats. I've got my generation two bipods. And for those of you who have gamo brake barrels, uh, have the cat or sat triggers, I have the trigger kits for those and it makes all the difference in the world. Anyway, let's get back to our subject on hand. Yeah, the reason I decided to come out with this is I just had a little bit too much information for a short, but I'm still gonna make this kind of a, a brief video for the most part. But uh, I've had a lot of inquiries. People wanna know, how do you fill these tanks up? Or simply the, oh, these are heavy. The 3000 PSI scuba tanks, either these or the 4500 PSI carbon fiber tanks. Well, there's lots of pumps that you can get out there. Lots of them. And uh, if you know this Ace Care right here, the pump looks really familiar because there's several companies that put their label on them. But it's one thing to put your label on it, and it's also number, another thing to be an established company and be able to back the product. So I do have a little story for you. But first of all, this is roughly, this is the pump that I use to fill these tanks. You can actually, this 6.8 liter carbon fiber tank that Ace Care puts out, this one's a uh, DOT certified one. You can fill this from zero to the full um, 3000 bar, so 4500 PSI in 40 minutes with this one. Now, what is this exactly? Okay, this is a 4,500 PSI pump. It's got an auto shutoff on, shut off on it, but it's water-cooled. It's water-cooled. So you'd think to yourself, wow, you know, that's probably going to be pretty expensive. Nope, under 300 bucks. So what you would need for this, what you'd need for this, as I said it's water-cooled. So you would need a five-gallon bucket, okay? You definitely need a five-gallon bucket. And it comes with the little, it comes with everything. The only thing that you're gonna to need to add to this, honestly, to, to use this pump is that five gallon bucket. And then you're gonna to have to get some AW46 hydraulic oil, cause that's the oil that goes uh, in the machine here. And it comes with all the instructions, how you set that up. But then it's actually water cooled. It comes with a little water pump. You drop that in. Yeah, it takes a minute to set it up. But the difference is the small little pumps, you know, the compact pumps we've featured before, you're not going to be able to top these tanks off. That you'll just, you'll wear the pump out and destroy it. This, I've been using this for years. And honestly, you can buy rebuild kits on eBay or what have you for them as well. And you can rebuild them really cheap if you need to. I have not had to do that so far. Because if you think about it, once you get the tank established, in other words, you get it up to that 4,500 uh, PSI or 300 bar, well, then you're going to run that thing down to 200 bar or 3,000 PSI, and then you're just going to top it off. So you're only topping it off a short amount, just like even the regular scuba tanks that are 3,000 pounds. Once those get down to about 2,800 PSI, I pump them back up, and it only takes a few minutes. But this is what I use for this. So this works really, really well. And like I said, they're very affordable. And speaking of tanks, I got to tell you something, because remember I was talking about there's different labels on these various uh, uh, PCP pumps, but what matters is the company that puts the label on there, if they stand behind their product. Do you remember I featured this carbon fiber tank uh, a while back? This is a 6.8 liter carbon fiber tank. Uh, this one is um, DOT certified. Okay, Department of Transportation certified. So anyway, I had my tank for several months and I go out to get it one day because I'm going to use it top off a gun. And I go and I attach it to the gun and the whole bit. It had less than 3000 PSI in it. And I go, that's impossible. So a closer look at the tank and this is what was happening. Check this out right here. This is what was happening. Yes, it developed several leaks. So the actual tank was given out. So under close examination, it did have multiple leaks on it. So I'm like, whoa, this does have a happy ending. So I reached out to Ace Care and said, hey, 
Got this off of Amazon, having problems with it. I'm telling you, it was a five day period that the old tank was returned and a new one was sent to replace it. And I haven't had any issues yet. So Ace Care really, really does have some good customer service. And I'm not gonna fault it for one, everybody, I don't care who you are, what manufacturer you are, what retailer you are, you're always gonna have a bad product. The key is, how do you handle the customer service? And you guys know that with the different air gun companies. Some are better than others. Well, these guys were great. They sent me a new tank and uh, we're all squared away as far as that goes. If you didn't see how to fill your PCP with the carbon fiber tank, go ahead, check this out. Let's show you how a carbon fiber tank works for those of you guys that are always curious about it. The whole idea about a carbon fiber tank is the fact that it's um, super sturdy and they're designed to hold 4,500 PSI, which your standard scuba tanks are 3,000 PSI. So you get an extra 1,500 PSI out of these, which is kind of nice. So this one here, this is a 6.8 liter. It weighs about eight and a half pounds. And again, you can fill it to 300 bar, which is about 4,500 PSI. So it's a 72 cubic foot tank. And this one is actually DOT approved, Department of Transportation approved. And the valve on this thing is an M18 by a 1.5. So in addition to the tank, you gotta have a valve for it. And this valve, this is a 300 bar valve. And uh, the thing about this is, if you'll notice these gauges here, these are in megapascals. So one megapascal equals about 145 PSI. So 31 megapascals um, would equal uh, 4,500 PSI. So what you have here is you have the tank pressure here in this gauge, and then you're gonna have the gun pressure, or the pressure that you're feeling coming out of this gauge, which is kind of nice. In addition to that, then obviously you would uh, look at the gun gauge as well. But let's show you real quick how you would do this. Okay, first off, this is a foster fitting. We're going to take our fitting and just snap that right on here. Just pull that back and it comes on there. Make sure it's secure. So it's definitely secure. And right now we're at about 2000 PSI. So the beautiful thing about pressurized tanks, seriously, within seconds, you're gonna fill your gun. So what we need to do is you need to make sure that the bleeder valve, which is right here, is closed. That's closed. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna to want to just slightly crack this valve open. And I like to keep an eye on the tank itself, the gun tank and this both. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna crack this gently and you're gonna watch that this tank pressure just goes up just before you know it. So we're gonna to go to 20 megapascals on this thing. And we're almost there. Just creeping it up. And we're there. Then you hit the, you hit the uh, bleeder valve, let the air out, and unconnect it. It's that simple. So that's why you see this is, this is kind of really the preferred method if you can have one of these and fill one up because if you fill it up to 4,500 PSI in a large tank like this and you're only going to a, a 3,000 PSI fill, it's, you, you're going to have a lot of air for quite some time. So the also is the convenience of it is how fast it is. You can take it with you out in the field if you're going to go somewhere shooting. You don't have to worry about uh, electrical source or a battery powered pump. So there is advantage of this. So the best world is you have one of these and you actually have some electric pumps as well. Okay, so that's how you fill your PCP. Now, if you're a little curious about how you would um, fill these tanks with this pump, you're going to need a double sided foster fitting, this little double-sided double foster fitting. Obviously, one would go into this side, like this, and the other goes into the tank side here. See how you would connect that? And that's how you would top these things off. Same thing, you'd open up your bleeder valve. Very important, make sure you change the filter every time because you want to keep the moisture out of these. Moisture is not good for either your gun or your tank. So you want to make sure you change these filter out. These are really cheap. You can just you can buy tons of these things on uh, Amazon or what have you just for pennies. You really can. And anyway, so that's the that's the process 
this is what I use. And again, remember, you're not, maybe one time you're feeling the tank and if you're close to a scuba shop, the best thing is go to the scuba shop and have them fill the tank up for the first time. And then all you gotta do is top it off. But I'm not advising you to fill your own tanks. I'm just showing you what I do. You fill your own tanks at your own risk. That is up to you. And be very safe in the process. Be very safe in the process. But I'm not advising you to do that. I'm just telling you what I do. I top off the tanks with this pump right here. It works great. So I do have to say, Ace Care has some very affordable uh, products with some outstanding customer service. I, I gotta give them a plug for that. I said, this carbon fiber tank now with the valve, with the valve, you're gonna get this right around 500 bucks. The, and it's a 6.8 liter tank and with the valve, the whole thing for 500 bucks. And I told you the pump, under $300. So it's a testament to a company, you know, when they put out an affordable product, but then they have outstanding customer service to go with it. And they definitely do. So anyway, I hope you uh, enjoyed this kind of brief episode of Airgun Detectives, but I wanted to get you guys updated and answer some of those questions for you. So don't forget, this is where we take the mystery out of the air gun. Until next time, take care and God bless.